USB-C to dual HDMI adapter, 4K 60Hz Type-C to HDMI splitter for two monitors. In this video, we review the Viennin USB-C to dual HDMI adapter, a compact solution for expanding your workspace by adding two HDMI monitors to your laptop. Perfect for MacBook, Dell XPS, HP, and other USB-C devices that support Thunderbolt 3 or 4. This adapter promises 4K 60Hz dual display output without the need for an external power source. But is it right for you? We'll walk you through its strengths and limitations, showing you the advantages of this budget-friendly hub and the drawbacks of its no power port design. Hi right, peeps. We're on tech review. So we got a Type-C to HTV 2-in-1. Now, I bought this because I had an old one. And I used it for my car. I think it's dead. Because <laughs> it no longer outputs any video. And I know it's not my, what's common. I tested it on the laptop. And I've tested it on, in, in, in here with good cables and everything. And it, don't, no, it no longer passes video anymore. So I think it died. And it may have been because of the summer heat. Uh, so I had to go buy another one. But this one only had... This had a power adapter and it had a standard USB and it had only one, so I had to buy a couple other devices to be able to watch it. This one claims to work on any device that outputs video through this Type-C port, which would be some laptops, uh, some tablets, like a lot of the uh, Samsungs uh, have their video ports, their phones, and their tablets. Uh, that one port, out. Uh, allows charging, video output, so you have to check your device and see if it, if it offers that support. So this is what it looks like. The only bad part is now I'll have to figure out how to charge the tablet, keep the tablet charged, because this one doesn't have a charging port. So let's see how well this is going to work. Voila. And to give you an idea of what it looks like, let me show you here. That is the tablet. And that is the screen that is broadcasting onto the tablet. Now, I have this nice little setup where, uh, I, now, you know, I'm, I'm going to need a splinter. <laughs> because I still have to be able to charge this tablet, otherwise it's going to go dead and um, I won't be able to do any of my good video stuff. But it does work. I tried this one, I get nothing. Donuts, juicy fruit, absolutely nothing. So now I know this is the culprit. I was suspecting cables because it was sporadic and now it's completely dead, it's not working on anything. So. Now I have to buy a splinter so I so I can be able to power this because these tablets don't have wireless charging. Guess why they did didn't do that? I have no idea. But if you have a PC device and you don't have enough USB cables, I mean enough video ports, this works wonderful. This particular one uh, probably would have worked better at home because it's no power. You'll probably have it powered. Your desktop or whatever, or laptop powered by another, uh, the battery pack or the power adapter, and so you won't need that additional power. You can attach two videos. Now, the videos are going to be copies of each other. It won't be independent, so you ain't going to have like video one and video. Where you want to have it laid out each? Nah, that's not going to work. These are just going to copy them. So, uh, but if you want two monitors, there you go. Um, so I'm going to have to install this, and, uh, but I forgot how much I paid for this. This wasn't very expensive, I don't think. But now I have to get an adapter, like I said, because the battery in the laptop is, I mean, the tablet is only gonna last for so long before it dies. Uh, so 
Let me see if it works, if this laptop even has USB support. I'm just curious. So I know my de one of my uh, small desktops upstairs. My, uh, yes, this tablet, which is the HP Z, uh, Z also outputs video on this type c port so it works if you want to add additional monitors to a device that you have even your tablet if you just want to add a, 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 an additional monitor to it boom so you got the tablet display and another monitor to the side it doesn't have to be a traditional monitor it could be like a little smaller monitor that's you can get that's 12 inches to 10 inches and you know you take a lot around with you but it gives you that flexibility now these are generic adapters so it won't automatically put into decks so you're gonna to have to manually do that but if you work with Samsung devices that wouldn't be that big of a problem so what I would recommend is probably I'm going to put it in the car and give it its final check but I know this is going to fix my problem now I just have another problem which is power uh, these devices are wonderful unfortunately when you're installing stuff in cars some things are more will work better than others especially during the summer times and the winter times i've had a lot of devices that couldn't make it through the hot summers and the cold winters and they like this didn't last a year but i've had tvs uh uh my what does it call it my power inverter still works it's been through hot summers cold winters and no problems with them so it depends on the quality of it, what you get some things handle better uh, but I think this was really like 12 bucks I think it wasn't that expensive but if you're looking to add additional monitors even if you just want to add one to your tablet here you go right here this works got my, uh, my approval but remember if you put it onto a tablet there's no way to keep the keep it charged, so I may have to get a like I said I may have to get a splitter or something, um, but I'm not going to because this is going in. The, yeah, I still need to get a splitter because I need to keep the, the, the tablet charged. Ugh. Too bad they don't have a power adapter on this one, but oh well. Okay, next next time, folks. Um, like I said, I'm loving this new case I have, uh, and uh, this just is to add into the cake. I'm going to go ahead and put this back. I'm going to install this in the car. So now both of my TVs are working in my vehicle again. Uh, they will be. Yes. All right, folks. Until next time, Tech Ron. Yes. Uh, what is this called? This is a Type-C to HDMI. So Type-C on one end, two HDMI connectors on the back. Regular HDMI, not minis. Regular HDMI on the back, Type-C. Make sure that your device supports it. Uh, you may you look at the manual, but like I said, these are not very expensive, I don't think. I'll put it in the description uh, and where you can buy that and how much it costs just in case you want to play around with it. But like I said, you know, it is what it is. Until next time, you guys take care. I'm out of here. In conclusion, the Vienon USB-C to dual HDMI adapter is a budget-friendly option at $14.88 on Amazon, ideal for adding an extra monitor to your setup. However, since it doesn't provide power or recharge your device, it may not be suitable for every situation, especially if you need continuous power for extended use. This adapter is best for users who prioritize a simple, affordable way to expand their display without the need for additional power support.